Hi guys, it's Doc Curry and massive amounts of news came out on Monday that's going to affect the markets on Tuesday. In today's video, I'm going to give you all the news you need to know and I'm going to tell you how the Russian invasion of Ukraine is going to affect the markets. So let's get into it! Monday started with the United States warning that Moscow had compiled a hit list of Ukrainians to target after Russia invades Ukraine. That initially set in worries that Russia was in fact planning to invade Ukraine and might start their invasion right after the Olympics ended Sunday night. Then, during the day on Monday, Russian President Putin declared two separatist regions in Ukraine as independent sovereign nations. That goes against the internationally recognized borders of Ukraine. That declaration also set in motion Russia's reasoning for invading Ukraine. U.S. President Biden then responded by ordering sanctions on the separatist regions of Ukraine. It is now illegal for any U.S. person to do business in these two regions of Ukraine. European leaders called Putin's actions a blatant violation of international law and vowed additional measures. Just a few hours after declaring these two regions of Ukraine as independent, President Putin ordered Russian troops into these two regions. Since Western nations still recognize these two regions as belonging to Ukraine, the West views this as an official invasion of Ukraine. President Putin said Russian troops would sign mutual assistance agreements with the two regions and then remain in the region in a peacekeeping role. The problem, of course, is that these two regions, which collectively make up the separatist controlled area on this map, are still officially part of Ukraine. And Russia can't sign agreements with a nation that doesn't exist. So there will be no peace in eastern Ukraine. Ukraine will continue to fight to take back the parts of the country that Russia just invaded, and this time they might have NATO helping them out. Now, news of war breaking out in Ukraine sent stock futures plummeting on Monday. As of the recording of this video, NASDAQ futures are down over 2%. The important thing to keep in mind, though, is that the Russian invasion of Ukraine doesn't really affect the United States. And while the drop in U.S. futures can be partially explained by the rise in oil prices, the reality is the U.S. stock market is just looking for any excuse to sell off. The European markets are going to be affected by the Russia-Ukraine war significantly more than the U.S. markets will be, and yet some of the European markets didn't even sell off as much as the U.S. markets did. But one market that did sell off significantly was Russia's stock market, which was down over 10% on Monday for the single largest one-day decline since 2008. Oil prices are of course higher on the rising tensions between Russia and Ukraine. If Russia invades the undisputed parts of Ukraine, you can expect oil to top $100 a barrel. And gold futures are rising as well as gold remains a safe haven and people are flocking to it in the midst of uncertainty in the stock market. Now the good news is that because the 10-year treasury continues to drop, once the conflict with Russia and Ukraine is resolved, stock prices should start rising again. The lower treasury yield will be a good thing for stocks, especially the Nasdaq. And there's a good chance that things will quiet down after Tuesday, which means Tuesday could be a short-term bottom in the market. Now before I go any further with today's news, I wanted to let you know that today's video is sponsored by Weeble. Weeble is a great platform to use to buy the dip. And for just a few more days, when you sign up for Weeble using my link in the description of this video and fund your account with any amount, you will get three free stocks worth up to $3,300. You'll also get $5 in free crypto when you make your first crypto trade. Again, that offer ends in just a few days, so sign up for Weeble using my link in the description below and get your free stocks before this promotion ends. Now with all of this news surrounding Ukraine, it's easy to forget that quite a few companies are reporting earnings this week. Some of the most notable are Home Depot before the open on Tuesday, then Teladoc Health after the close on Tuesday. Wednesday before the open we have Lowe's, and then after the close on Wednesday we have quite a few stocks that are popular with retail investors including Fubo TV, Skills, Clover Health, and Lemonade. Then Thursday before the open, we have Alibaba, and Thursday after the close, we have Square, which is now known as Block, Coinbase, Etsy, and Beyond Meat. Now, there's no need to be panicked or worried about the stock market falling. This is an opportunity to make money, 
and I want to help you make money while the stock market falls, or at the very least, hedge your portfolio so that you don't lose any money. Last week, we purchased a put option on SPY due to a combination of the technicals on the stock market as well as the building tensions in Ukraine. We should be up quite a bit on that play on Tuesday. And in my last video, I mentioned quite a few ways you also could hedge your portfolio and make money while the market goes down. If you didn't see the video I uploaded Thursday night, you should go watch it. There were quite a few members in the Discord that bought inverse ETFs, index puts, oil calls, and other positions that should be up quite a bit on Tuesday. Remember, I want to help you make money while the market's going down. The Discord members are doing it, and you can too. I believe in you. So let's make it happen. Go join the free Discord at stockcurry.vip slash Discord. Just fill out the short application and you'll get an invite link to go join the free Discord. The truth is the application is just there to help prevent scammers. Everybody who applies is going to get approved. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and got a lot out of it. Comment down below what you think the market is going to do after Tuesday. Also, keep your eye on DWAC, that's DWAC. The Truth Social Network launched on Monday, and the Truth Social Network became the number one most downloaded app in the Apple App Store. So keep your eye on that. I do expect it to be very volatile on Tuesday. Finally, don't forget to sign up for Weeble using my link in the description below as that offer expires in just a few short days. Now, if you're not a U.S. resident or if you're looking to trade OTC penny stocks, then I recommend Interactive Brokers. Interactive Brokers is a highly discounted trading platform. Trades start at just one Canadian dollar, four euros, or six Australian dollars, depending upon where you live. And both Weeble and Interactive Brokers both offer the full pre-market and after hours trading from 4 a.m. until 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Now, I do want to remind you that I do have material connections with both of those. So whenever you sign up for either one, not only are you getting a great broker to trade with, you're also helping me to continue to produce these great videos for you. Finally, I want to remind you to hit that like button, subscribe, and click the bell icon if you haven't already. I hope you have a lot of success trading and I will see you tomorrow.